guys so i've been having a lot of pains in my heart chakra lately so it made me feel compelled to do a love reading today so that said i've already cleansed with my kamaya healing sprays and i've also already pre-shuffled my cards so let's go ahead and get into it so with my pains in my heart chakra if any of you guys are actually going through a breakup right now or just a really tough time where you're focused on healing your heart um i totally feel for you it's not a great place to be in um but you know i've been there we've all been there so hopefully this reading does help you out um if this reading resonates or if it doesn't resonate and you guys want to book a personal um, love reading with me you guys are more than welcome to do that i would love to have a personal reading with you just to you know feel out your energies one-on-one -on -one and kind of give you more insight and guidance into your situation all right cool so we have all of our cards here so the first card that came out was the eight of pentacles and with that i feel like a lot of you are just working really really hard um to you know just distract yourself really sort of bury your heartache in your work um just so that you don't have to think about it um but next the one that came out was the empress which is great that just means you guys are focusing a lot on self-love which is great you definitely should be loving more on yourself and being more compassionate and gentle and really just building up your own self-esteem next we had the justice card in reverse so you guys may be feeling like you know you didn't get justice um, in this breakup you know someone really wronged you and you feel right now like everything is really unfair and you know maybe it seems as though like they won the breakup but um i wouldn't focus on that um even if you are feeling wrongs right now i think what you really should be focusing on is again this empress energy um really trumps everything else that is out here um on my little table right now focus on loving yourself and healing your heart because you know anyone who leaves you for whatever reason in a relationship it doesn't reflect anything on you as a person they're just not your person you are still just amazing and great so don't even worry about everything else that is happening um, next we have the queen of swords in reverse so with this i'm seeing a karmic uh, third party so this could be you know whoever your person left you to be with uh, maybe you feel like this person was manipulating them maybe you know they didn't tell you about this person with all this blue here i'm feeling maybe you know your person's throat chakra was blocked and they didn't want to tell you that they were already interested in someone new so instead you found out in your own time with this justice card and you felt really wronged um next i have the six of cups in reverse um which to me shows that it really just burned complete bridges with this person. So, you know, you don't see yourself going back to them. There's no going back at this point. They really, you know, did you so dirty that there's no turning back. There's no reconciliation, um, nothing from the past. There's no hope for this relationship. And lastly, we have Knight of Cups in reverse. So, you know, this person was your Knight of Cups um, but they pretty much took their cup back and, you know, left you with nothing. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands, um, which is, again, I feel this is more of a karmic energy. Instead of, you know, taking your time to heal and really love yourself, you're too focused on this other party. Don't worry about who your person left you for. Don't worry about like what this person is doing. All that really is doing is draining your own energy when you should be conserving that energy and giving it back to yourself. So since from this energy, I'm seeing that, you know, all the bridges are burned and you don't really want to be going back to this person, um, I'm not gonna pull out any of my love cards. I'm not going to do um, my erotic deck either. Instead, with this karmic energy here, we're going to go straight for my I'm a prick deck. 
so let's see if we can get any messages from the karmic since we see there's this karmic energy that came out twice so again karmics can actually be karmic family members karmic friends um, um not just you know romantic partners um there's a lot of different types of people that could be interfering with your relationship so let's see what comes out okay we got one seems like the karmic doesn't want to talk today Oh, okay, we got two more. Okay, so the first one that came out is I don't actually care about them, which is actually really sad for whoever this karmic party is um, or, you know, for your person. So if I don't actually care about them came out. So again, these are messages from the karmic um, about your person. So with I don't actually care about them, you know, it's sad because, you know, they broke up with you or they cheated on you with this other party who actually doesn't even care about them. Um, now, and then the next one was, I have a dirty past. So, you know, this, I'm getting from this that this isn't the first time they've done this. I feel like this is a track record they have of, they just get bored, they see someone who's in a committed relationship and, you know, they, they're they just like, oh, let's see if I can um, get them to break up with, uh, their girlfriend so oh yeah the ariana grande song is coming into my head you know um break up with your girlfriend because i'm bored that's the type of mentality um this karmic has and lastly i have i'm jealous of your connection so a lot of times i feel that karmic partners they're really just unhappy with their own selves and they're not able to find a good lasting relationship so when they see people who are happy together you know they want that for themselves but instead of like finding a single person who they can build a real relationship with they like to meddle in like actual other people's connections which is unfortunate but you know it happens more often than not which is really sad and lastly i have <laughs> the bottom of the deck says i'm tired of pretending that i want them sexually so yeah if your person left you to be with this karmic partner it's not going to last. Their karmic partner already doesn't even want them sexually. Um, and if they did, you know, um, come up to them in a sexual manner, seduce them in any way, all of it was a facade. It was just to see their power and their ability to, you know, manipulate and get your person to, you know, break up with you, to commit with them. Um, and that just gives them like more self-esteem, more ability to feel like, you know, they're better than other people in every way because they're able to steal other people's um, partners, um, which is really sad. Okay, uh, so with that done, um, I'm just going to do some loose leaf tea, um, see if there's any other underlying secrets um, in this connection that I can get for you guys. Alrighty, this is kind of a really juicy reading. But luckily with the energy, your overall energy with the tarot, I'm actually really pleased about, you know, definitely stick on this, you know, don't, do not go back to this person. Um, you know, they left you for someone who wasn't even genuine. Um, stay in that mindset, stay on focusing, um, loving yourself and healing like that's all you can really do you know absolutely forgive them for leaving you forgive them for you know choosing a hoe whatever but like your main focus should be you and healing your own heart so um the first secret i got out was i distanced myself for my own protection i want to stay in control and not become too attached so i have a feeling that your partner was worried that you wanted a longer term commitment with them and that scared them. So instead of talking to you about their fears and, you know, where your connection is going, they retreated and ended up, you know, like being seduced by someone else and, you know, was able like actually, you know, let that other party really truly interfere with your connection and was able to, you know, once you find out that they were cheating on you, you broke things off. Um, next, I have you're too good for me. So absolutely, like there's your confirmation. You know, 
they distanced th themselves from you for their own protection because, you know, they didn't want a deeper commitment. They were scared of what was going to be next for you because they did care about you. But the bottom line is you're too good for them. So they went to this other party because that's what they deserve, you know? It's like, uh, I deserve to be with someone who doesn't love me and like doesn't treat me well. I'm, you know, I'm at this lower vibration. I'm, you know, just maybe they're in like this whole mind state too where they just want to sleep around with people. They're, you know, really not at a time in their life where they can be in a committed relationship. So, you know, if you ended things, even if you think that they did you wrong, you know, you, you made the right choice. Like you, this is not a situation that you want to keep yourself tied into. And lastly, at the bottom of the deck, our connection scares me. So again, that's your confirmation. You know, your person didn't cheat on you, didn't leave you for another person because you are bad at all. No, you are the empress. You deserve so much more than this other person. This karmic even looks up to you. Everyone knows how amazing you are and you need to keep going on your own you know, um, glow up. Everyone is going to be watching you. You know, you deserve so much better. Don't let these other people bring you down. You know, this happened for a reason, for a lesson. Um, just learn to love yourself, keep moving forward and that's it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Again, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, um, you're more than welcome to. I'll leave all that information in the down box below. But thank you again as always so, so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you in, in my next video. Bye guys.